everybody, it's your boy Melvin, Sneak Attack Game and More. Back to bring you another detailed look. Now today is Thursday, well yeah, today is Thursday. So this is the Thursday right after All-Star Weekend. So with that being said, these here, really, really cool All-Star shoes. As you can tell, we've got the LeBron 16, Watch the Thrones. And so to all my Nike sneakers app users, if you were on your Nike sneakers app or you may have got your notification at probably around like 8.30 on Sunday that told you that these were coming out, you had to enter the draw. And if you were lucky enough, then basically you want a pair. I'm pretty sure they were doing some type of sales in Charlotte for the All-Star game. As always, y'all, 100% authentic. There is a receipt there. But if you weren't lucky enough to go all the way to Charlotte and try to make an attempt to purchase these in, a, in one of the pop-up stores or something like that, then that Nike Sneakers app was basically your lifeline. I know StockX, you can always get them for resale up there, go places like that. Nothing like getting a good pair of shoes at retail price. Like honestly, where I'm at in my life, if it's not retail, then, I, then it just ain't for me. It just wasn't in the cards. It wasn't meant for me to for it to happen. And this is probably one of the first times I've seen it. Now this card here says, these shoes have been created in limited quantities and are not intended to be collectibles. Lace lock is for casual wear only. Please remove prior to active play. Thank you. Now I'll give you a better shot, a better close up of that. So this is one of the few times where like Nike is letting you know that this is a collectible shoe. Now also, one of the things I wanted to point out was the box here on the very front. If you're familiar with the LeBron James line and you've been a fan of LeBron, you know that usually uh, every LeBron basically has like a, a Dunkman LeBron. And you definitely get that Dunkman symbol on the LeBron James sign here. And then those symbols also come up in other places as well. And I'll show you that once we start to take a detailed look into the shoe itself. So with the Watch the Throne, instantly off of some of the colorways I'm getting here, it does remind me of kind of like the Chinese New Year theme that they have going on with a lot of the other shoes. Like we saw the Jordan 12, things like that. with kind of like the red, gold, checkered patterns here. So this does remind me of that. You've got your battle knit here, which I really, really like battle knit. On the 15s, I really liked it. And on the 16s, they're really cool too. The 16s have kind of like a lower profile though. So, you know, it's, it's more of a mid instead of higher shoe. I don't like the low profile. I'm, I'm more of a fan of, of the higher profile, like the 15s had. I thought, I thought they had a better design. But you can see here, you've got like this mesh material right here coming up underneath the laces all the way up to the tongue here you got your signature here on the tongue and again the lace pattern like i said very chinese new year-ish down to the battle net on the toe box here and then you've got speckled gold down on the midsole gold nike sign on the side and then you've even got some of that speckled pattern repeating itself on your sole here and right here you've got like a translucent blue sole and then again where we were talking about that Dunkman collection you've got a golden LeBron James Dunkman at the bottom here so a lot of these accents again are gonna be is the reason why Nike brought up that card to you as more of just a collectible type shoe and not really something that you want to be out here playing basketball in on a regular basis unless you're just balling up you know you could just be balling like that on here looks like we've got nine shoe tree out kind of a oblong shoe tree here so I noticed with these, the shoe tree doesn't go all the way in like other shoes here. So you can see it right here at the tongue. It really holds that tongue into place. So nothing really, really too interesting about the lace tips here. Looks like it's just regular plastic lace tips. Again, you wanna be careful with lace tips like these cause they will fray out and you'll have a problem getting them into those little laces. On the inside of the shoe here, we've got the LeBron James symbol, gold accents, black and gold with the crown. Again, still giving that watch the throne feel. And you've got some artwork on the inside, the back heel support here. And then also on the back of the tongue here, you've got some nice artwork there too. And on the inside, 
of the left shoe. We've got the same, so they didn't change it up. So these shoes are basically really uh, mirrors of each other when it comes to the imaging. You have also have nine on the back tongue for your left shoe as well. Gold LeBron James symbol here. It's, it's a carbon fiber pattern, but it's not carbon fiber. It's, you can, you can hear it. It's very soft. It's, it's fabric more of like a, not even like a Kevlar, less than a Kevlar. This is, this is probably just a pattern here. And that almost reminds me of like, if we're sticking to the, the Chinese New Year themes, this is almost like the uh, Chinese finger traps, that type of design and pattern here. So I don't know if it's going to give you that same support. And again, I don't want to be given too, too much details or usage when it comes to, or, or talking about performance wise when it comes to these. These are going to be more of your collectible type shoe. So not too many people you're going to see actually using these, you know, for, for basketball. The bottom of the soles may glow in the dark as well. I'll do a test really quickly and we'll see if, if we actually do get that, that glow. All right. So. What better place to test this theory than an actual bathroom? It's gonna be the best place for us to get completely dark and really see if these things can glow. So let's take a look. And oh yeah. So I didn't really get to charge them up that much, but even without it, you can still notice that it is indeed glowing. Now they also came with these lace locks. So kind of like a crownish figure here. Gold, huge lace locks. I'm not gonna take them out of the packaging because I'm I am gonna save this as a collector's item, but this just gives you an idea of what they look like. I I'll probably end up putting up a picture just to kind of show you what they look like on the shoe, but I won't actually unpackage these. Alright, you guys, and that was your detailed look at the LeBron James Watch the Thrones or All-Star Editions. Let us know what you think. Let us let us know what it, what it looked like for you. If you enjoyed it, uh, also always keep our dreams alive. Subscribe and hopefully we'll bring you a lot, a lot more content. We got a lot more stuff coming. And until next time, Sneaker Tech Gaming More Family, we out. Peace.